For the first time, Ridgewood Country Club is hosting the Texas Super Senior Amateur Championship. I had the chance to visit with a few of the gentlemen who traveled from all over the state in order to compete this week. It's 68, boom. One year it was just gone. I lost 25 yards off the tee and one and a half uh, clubs in distance. So at some point in time that hits everybody. And that's why the Texas Golf Association had more gentlemen than ever sign up for this tournament. I started playing in, a, in high school and uh, played my way through college and uh, took off a few years working and then started playing uh, probably in the late 90s serious amateur golf again. Ed Brooks won the senior amateur championship for golfers ages 55 and up back in 2017 at the age of 68. I was very fortunate that that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> the, the man upstairs had a plan for me there somehow. That win pushed him to continue to compete and now he's here in Waco at the Ridgewood Country Club where Mace Brindley has been a member for about 40 years. It's fun to have these golfers, many of which, many of whom I know, have them come and play our course and see how our course holds up. Out of the 70 gentlemen competing this week, eight are competing in the Legends Division, ages 75 and up. I had always wanted to play, but my job always took precedence over it. Don Greider served as a pilot in the Air Force for 22 years, and once he retired, he headed straight for the greens. The big thing is to keep competitive because you've got to keep your health, health up and everything. Greider has won the Texas Super Senior Amateur Championship the past two years and is looking to make it a three-peat this year. Round two of the tournament was canceled today due to all of the rain, but Ed Brooks is leading the Super Seniors and Don Greider on his way to making that three-peat is leading the Legends as the players move into their final round tomorrow.